In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make texture packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Google Play Store or the App Store depending whether you are on iOS or Android and you want to go to the search bar and you want to search up texture pack maker for Minecraft. Then go ahead and download this application right over here. It is completely for free and this app will actually allow you to make your very own texture packs that you could use in your very own games. So once you went ahead and done that, go ahead and open the application. All right, boys, when you load into this application, you should be greeted by something like this. But what you want to do is you want to go on the button that says create, and then you want to go ahead and press on the button that says create texture. From here, you'll notice that it will categorize all of the different textures in Minecraft Bedrock. So we can change the textures of blocks, items, models, entities, UI, environment, GUI, and many other things as well, like the map, the color map, and the armor trims as well. So there's honestly a lot of different options to pick on. And if you go ahead and just choose any of them, you'll notice that we have so many different options. Like it is honestly incredible. And obviously you guys could go on the search bar to look for a particular texture and for items we have all these stuff right over here and if we go on models we have all the different like armor types and stuff like that which is really cool but yeah you guys can get creative with this and actually pick what you want to edit in your minecraft texture pack so for this video i'm going to go ahead and edit one of the items and more particularly i think i'm going to be editing the totem of undying right over here so go ahead and select on whatever you want to edit and then once you're done with that, you should get a menu that looks like this. Go ahead and press on the button that says edit right over here. And then it will greet you with this awesome looking menu. And with this menu, it will provide you with all the tools that you need in order to make the best texture packs possible. For starters, we have this really cool tool over here that will allow you to rotate the uh, texture right over here. Same thing over here as well. And also we even have this option right over here that allows you to move the texture however you see fit. We have a bucket tool, we have an eyedropper tool, we have a pen tool, an eraser tool, a selection tool, basically every single tool that you would need in order to make texture packs, this has it for you. And additionally, we do have a bunch of colors that we can pick from from the top of the screen, or you guys could press on the plus button and you guys can make your very own a color over here and stuff like that. So that is definitely pretty cool. So let's go ahead and use the color blue for I'm Total of Undying. Yep, like that. Oh, I love that color. All right, guys. So basically what you can do is you could uh, change the textures however you see fit. So I think for this video, just to make it easy, I'm just going to be making a blue outline on the Tormo of Undying. But obviously you guys can get way more creative because I'm pretty sure you guys have like way better ideas than me. I'm just doing this because it is simple and hopefully, you know, it will make the tutorial easy to follow. All right, boys. So once you made all the necessary changes to your Minecraft textures, what you want to do is you want to go to the top top right of your screen and press on this save button. It's really important that you do this because if you don't do it, then there is a chance that you could lose all your progress. And obviously you do not want that to happen. So go ahead and press on that. And sometimes you might get a couple applications and stuff like that. And I know it's very annoying. However, uh, we do need the ads because that is the only way that the application is free because if there was no ads, then you would have to pay for it and stuff like that. But anyways, boys, just go ahead and press on close. Then once you're done with that, press on the check mark right over here. And then you will notice that we do have our texture just like so. So once you went ahead and adjusted all of the different entities and blocks and stuff like that, and once you're ready to actually use it in Minecraft, what you want to do is you want to press on the button that says export. And then what you want to do is you want to give your uh, texture pack a name. And obviously you guys could pick a profile picture for it as well. I'm just going to go ahead and select on this one because it honestly looks pretty cool. And let's go ahead and call the texture pack the Fry Bry Test Pack right over here. And then go ahead and give yourself the credit. So go ahead and put your name over here. And here is the fun part. You guys could actually include a description of your texture pack. So let me go ahead and write one real quick. All right, boys, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the check mark button right over here. And you might get an ad again. So make sure to go ahead and just be patient with those, skip those. And then you should get a menu that looks like this. So you guys could either share it with your friends, upload it to the app so that other people could play it and give you their honest feedback and stuff like that. Or you guys can import it to your game. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and import it to my game by pressing on this button and then it will say choose game and from here select on minecraft 
and then it will automatically boot up minecraft it will say import started and hopefully yep there you go it will say successfully imported the texture pack so in order to actually activate this all you need to do is go on settings then go to global resources and then your texture pack should be there yep here is the pack that we did just make all right boys so all you want to do is you want to activate the texture pack just like so and then once you're done with that you should load into a minecraft world just to make sure that everything did work out and yep here we are in our minecraft world and as you're able to tell our total of undying that we did just make is actually working and as you can tell it does have the blue outline which is really cool but like i said you guys can get really creative with this application and honestly make Make, like some of the coolest texture packs out there the possibilities are endless but if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to reach 300 000 subscribers see you later french fries